Hi, this is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV, and today we are going to talk to you about videos. It's how to create compelling videos you can use like this for social media. So that's a preview of what I typically do. You can look on my Facebook profile to see lots of videos that I've created here. I do stuff for my clients like this. I also do things with tips and tricks. Got little tips and tricks here for engagement sessions. And then I even have things obviously for some of the educational stuff. Then I have ones that are similar to that, but, but for weddings. <laughs> so similar kind of thing, but I'm showing off the wedding pictures. Great for my clients to share around. Great for you know me just showing them their pictures in a creative way as well. And then when it comes time to their wedding album, I make them a slideshow that shows them their wedding album layout in a video format. I am using Animoto, which is great. There are lots of different options that you have for creating slideshows, and I'm going to tell you some tips here that are going to be concise no matter what it is that you use. They'll, they'll transfer over. So I am going to just pick one of their storyboards here. What's nice about their storyboards is they are pretty much pre-built. So when you load in one of their storyboards, their templates essentially you get to work off of that so you have everything already built for you you're just going to change some things so I did pre-bake a little bit and I have here um, already uploaded pictures and I'm just going to start clicking and dragging if you have access to video like you saw with my first video that I showed you guys my husband is a videographer so I do have access to nice wedding videos you can use videos here also but I am going to show you how to build a marketing video without having access to videos because I know as photographers we don't always so I'm just gonna start clicking and dragging in here different photos right now I filled this and I'm gonna change a text because I'm not gonna tell anyone how to throw a fabulous party so let's just put something else in here how to have a fun wedding all right, so I'm just gonna go change all the text here. Start with, I don't know, smiles. And you wanna tell a story a lot of times when there's no audio. So whether you're using pictures or like I'm doing, using text, you want to be able to do that without audio because a lot of the social media platforms that we'll post on do not have audio playing right away. All right, I think it's going to be good there with that. But what I do want to do is add a couple more pictures. I'm just going to duplicate that so I can add this fun picture here because that's kind of a fun one. I think I want to end on this one. Always end on a nice, exciting one. And I don't want to say shop now. We can say book now. 
just go to vanessajoy.com. All right, I don't think I need, I could put my logo in here if I want to, but I'm going to take that one out, take this one out, and then I'm good with this. Now, when I was going through all of this, one of the other things I was taking into account was that I wanted to make sure the eyes were bouncing. So as you are creating a video, you wanna make sure that people's eyes go from left to right, top to bottom, and all around. This helps make, make it a little bit more interesting. So you can see right now the subjects are kind of up here, but then we completely change it. Now I've got two subjects on the right and left. Now the eye goes to the top right, but now here it goes to the bottom, here it goes to the top, here to the bottom, here to the top, left, right. This is kind of all over, right, and then to the bottom again. So there's lots of different stuff going on here. Um, hot pink, not really my thing. Another thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure everything is brand consistent. Um, so there we go. That's a little bit more me with that turquoise there. So I'll have to just change that here. Maybe not have the bright pink here. There we go. And now maybe we'll go, we'll go white with this. All right, so perfect. Now that's branded a little bit more of me. Notice how short this is. My storyboard is only 41 seconds, and honestly, that's a little long. I like 30 seconds usually. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move some things. I think I'm just going to actually take out that picture right there. I like this one more. I think I want to replace maybe this picture. Make that my start with smiles picture, and then we'll just delete that there. And now we're at like 36 seconds. I'm gonna, let's see, swap that there. Book now, okay, that looks good, 36 seconds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and preview that. Depending on what you're using for a slideshow program, We'll probably have some share buttons here, and that's great, but truthfully, you want to download. The reason you want to download this is because you want to then upload it to your social platforms natively, because the social platforms prefer their own compressor, their own video player, and it will boost you a little bit more in the algorithms that way. So. I download high quality. I usually download 1080 or 720 so you guys can see the final product. I'm going to click on this 1081 here, bump it out so that you can take a look at the finished thing. Hope this has been helpful creating your own videos, whether you use Animoto or something else. Go ahead, try some videos and see how they do for you via marketing. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on the bottom so you don't miss a thing here with Adorama TV.